Hey guys, and welcome to an original We Try This production. Today, I'll be teaching you how to use money for an item shop in Game Maker. You can do this in Game Maker Lite or Pro, it does not matter. But, one thing you will have to have done is have watched my Game Maker tutorial about creating money. This video is in the description, and it's also under the video in the video response. So, yeah, if you haven't watched that, then do it. Otherwise, you'll be lost and not know what to do. Also, you can watch my character select screen tutorial. But other than that, yeah. So, in this tutorial, we'll be purchasing a item using money we created in our last tutorial, in the creating money tutorial. This item will be actually a character. So, it'll be my new green player. I added him into the... I added him into the character select screen, and he already has all his events and everything programmed. So he's already been programmed into the character select screen. Now, because... Never mind. So what I have here, I have green select and I have green locked. Green select is the version of him that when you click on him, it'll start the game as green player. As the green player. So when you click on him, it'll start the game as green player. Green L, on the other hand, is the player is the ver is the player where when you click on him, it'll ask you if you wish to purchase this player. If you select yes, you'll purchase him and it'll subtract your five thousand. I think it was five thousand. Five thousand dollars from your current money. If you don't have five thousand, you can't purchase him. If you select no, then you just won't purchase him. So, he, as I said, he's already been select, created into the character select screen. Global.green select is zero. Now, because I did this tutorial already, like, three times, like the fourth time I've done this tutorial, I really didn't feel like recreating it. So, I just pre-created everything, and I'll go through each part. So, in the locked object, so the object when you have to purchase him, in the locked object, at a left release event, so add event, mouse, left released, right here. Next, you want to add a test variable action, which is in the control tab, variables, and drag it in. Test variable. In the test variable action, if global.money, variable global.money, value 4,999, operation larger than, so if we have 5,000 or more, start of a block, so right here, start of a block, if the user answers yes to a question, which is this, the test expression, or test check question, that's it, the check question action right here, the question is, do you wish to purchase this item? I mean, are you sure you wish to purchase this item? This is the question. I input it. So, in the first choice is automatically yes. So, if the user answers yes to a question, are you sure you wish to purchase this item? Start of a block. Another start of a block. Change instance into obj underscore green select. Perform events yes. As I said, green select is the version that's selectable in the character select screen. This is the version where if you click on him, it'll start the game as the player. And so change into green select, perform events, yes, apply to self. Set variable global.money minus 5,000 relative. So it'll subtract 5,000 from the total amount. Now, you may have a different format, like maybe purchasing an item. So the concept is basically the same, but, yeah, the concept is just basically the same of buying an object. But in this case, since I'm buying a character, and you may be buying something else for your game, like a weapon or something, you can just format it to match your game, but the concept is still basically the same. So, set variable global.money to minus 5,000, end of a block, which is right here. Oh, set variables right here. I like. 
and change instances right here. Next, we're going to add the else, which is right here. Else. You drag this out a little more. Else, start of a block. So another start of a block. Display message, you did not purchase this item. There's only one other option. It's either yes or no. So if you select no, it'll confirm that you did not purchase this item. Then just else, display messages right here in the info tab in main 2. Info. End of a block. Drag two end of a block. And that's it. Now, I'm sorry I didn't do this tutorial alongside, but as I said, I created this tutorial like five times, and I really got tired of doing the same thing over and over again, so I didn't want to do it. So let me show you what it would look like in my uh, character select room. This is the format. Make sure your money controller is in here. This is the money controller. And if you have, if you follow my character select screen tutorial, make sure the character select screen controller is in here too. Also, you want to make sure, better yet, you want to make sure the money object is in the first room of your game. So, this is the, the first room in my game is the character select screen room. This is the first room. So you want to make sure that the money controller is in the first room. I believe I explained this in my creating money tutorial, but just in case you didn't listen. Make sure it's in the first room, the very first room of your game. So I'm going to show you what it will look like. Okay, so I have 10,000. I currently have 10,000. So when I click on the character, are you sure you wish to purchase this item? Ignore the ugly message box. I know it's ugly. It was for a previous tutorial. If I select no, you did not purchase this item, I still have 10,000. If I click on it again and press yes, it changes into object green select. I have five thousand dollars. When I click on him, I start the game as the green player. Yay! Yeah, and it's from a previous tutorial. These are coins. I got one, so now I have six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand. Yeah. Well, this has been an original. We tried this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.